hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video we discussed about the uh, concept of torque acting on the electro electric dipole placed in a uniform electric field so in this video we are going to discuss about another related concept uh, which will be uh, derived from the torque uh, that expression which is the potential energy of the dipole in the same electric field okay so again i would recommend you to watch all the videos related to electric dipole starting from the electric dipole basic concepts the electric field due to the dipole along the axial and equatorial lines and the torque acting on the dipole those videos okay so you understand this in a better way now the electric dipole as we all know is a system of two equal and opposite charges of equal magnitude but opposite signs separated by a certain distance okay so this is the electric dipole we all know that now let us say that this electric dipole is placed in a uniform electric field at certain angle okay the length of the dipole it makes certain angle theta with the electric field the electric field lines now we have already discussed in the previous video on uh, the torque acting on the dipole as a result of this the torque acting on the dipole is simply this force acting on plus q and the force acting on minus q which is q into e vector which are in e the magnitude is equal but they are acting in opposite directions constituting a couple rotating it in clockwise direction and trying to align align it in the direction of the electric field so the torque acting on this electric dipole is simply force multiplied with the perpendicular distance from the point of impact okay from this from this uh, we can call it the pivot virtual pivot here so it will simply be force multiplied with perpendicular distance which is the arm of this couple which is simply tau is equal to pe sin theta we have already uh, found out that in the previous video okay so you check out that video now i'm not going into uh, deep into that so this is the torque acting on the electric dipole now how uh, we can get the potential energy of the dipole from it now this is in a scalar form in vector form it is simply the cross product of the dipole moment and the electric field vector now we know that uh, the if this dipole is uh, rotated in this uh, electric field through a small angle let's say by a sm very small angle d theta against this torque in the opposite direction okay Again, let's say in the anti clockwise direction okay opposite to that then we have to do a small amount of work dw on the dipole to rotate this dipole through a very small angle in the opposite direction against this torque so this work done on the dipole is given by dw the small uh, work is tau d theta now tau is equal to pe sin theta which is equal to pe sin theta d theta so this is for the angular motion now in linear motion we know that dw is simply force into small displacement so here the analogous quantities for linear and angular motion in angular motion torque is same as force in linear motion in angular motion this angular displacement d theta is the same as linear displacement dr in linear motion so this is the work done in uh, angular motion which is p is sin theta d theta now the total work done in rotating the dipole from two points let's say lower point theta 1 or the initial point theta 1 to final uh, the angular point theta 2 it is given by integrating this dw over this entire limit from theta 1 to theta 2 which is p is sin theta d theta integrated from lower limit theta 1 to upper limit theta 2 pe is constant the dipole moment and the electric field are constant so they come out 
and this is simply integration uh, sin theta d theta from limits theta 1 to theta 2 integration of sin theta is minus cos theta we know so it becomes p minus cos theta theta 2 minus uh, theta 2 to theta 1 so it is simply minus p e cos theta 2 minus theta 1 simple we apply the rules of uh, the definite integration uh, with lower upper and lower limits now let us just assume that initially the dipole is at right angles to the direction of the electric field okay the theta one the initial angle of the dipole with respect to the electric field is 90 degree we should, we should, let us just assume that theta one is 90 degree and then from this initial angle of 90 degree with respect to the electric field this dipole is rotated through an angle theta that is the final angular position is theta against the clockwise turn. So the final angular position is theta. So in that case if we apply theta 2 is equal to theta and theta 1 is equal to 90 degree here. If we substitute theta 1 with 90 degree and theta 2 with simply theta. Then it will be we know cos 90 degree is equal to 0 and theta 2 is simply theta. So it becomes minus PE cos theta. The work done is given by minus p e cos theta so this is the work done on the dipole in rotating it against the torque through a very small angle let's say theta we know that the potential energy of the dipole is the negative of this work done we have already discussed it in the electric potential energy and electric potential that uh, video i've already discussed that you please check out that so the potential energy of the dipole is simply the negative of this work done the negative of this work done okay so it will be simply u is equal to minus p e cos theta u is equal to minus p e cos theta so we can call it the dot product of minus p vector dot e vector okay the dot product of p vector and e vector so this is the potential energy of the dipole okay the potential energy of the dipole okay so now because of this angle okay this factor there will be different cases arising for different positions of the dipole while rotating it against the torque for different positions or different positions or values of theta this potential energy value will be different for example when theta is equal to 0 it will be simply minus p e cos 0 degree we know cos 0 degree is 1 so it is minus p e. when theta is equal to 90 degree it will simply be minus p e cos 90 degree cos 90 degree is 0 so the potential energy will be 0 and when theta is equal to 180 degree cos 180 degree is minus 1 so it will be minus p e into minus 1 which will become plus p e okay so these are the various cases for which the potential energy changes now the work done in rotating the dipole okay now we are go just going to uh, simplify this concept again so now if the dipole let's say initially the stable equilibrium state at theta is equal to 0 degree okay at theta is equal to 0 degree this case theta is equal to 0 degree let the dipole is in the stable equilibrium state this is called as the stable equilibrium state when theta is equal to 0 degree in that case the potential energy is simply minus p okay now let the dipole is disturbed from the stable equilibrium state okay and is rotated through some angle theta so the final potential energy or the final energy state of the dipole will simply be as per this formula is minus p e cos theta minus p e cos theta the final potential energy of the dipole is minus p e cos theta so the work done in rotating the dipole through this angle is simply given by the final potential energy minus the initial potential energy so the final potential energy is minus p cos theta 
and the initial potential energy is minus Pe. So it will simply be minus Pe cos theta minus minus Pe. So it will become plus Pe. So it will be Pe into 1 minus cos theta. So this is the work done in rotating the dipole in the electric field. Okay. So these are some of the concepts associated with the potential energy of the dipole in a uniform electric field okay so here the concept of this torque acting on the dipole came in we used it to find out the work done on the electric dipole to rotate it against the uh, clockwise torque okay against it through a certain angle and then we got the expression of potential energy which is the dot product of the negative of the uh, dipole moment vector and the electric field vector and then we evaluated this, the work done in rotating the dipole through a certain angle in the electric field, which we got this expression. So, okay, so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.